Hey, middle school, welcome to Friday. Um, it is the 398th day of quarantine or something like that. So hope you've had a great week. Um, I know it's been kind of cold and feel like April. Um, but my wife Stacy and I are going to kind of lead you through the Devo to kind of end the week. So obviously a week ago was Good Friday and um, we had Easter and then this week devotions have been um, out of our uh, book um, New Morning Mercies by Paul Tripp. And so just want to encourage you if you don't have that, it's a great um, it's a great uh, devotional to have. So we're obviously on the April 17th one. Um, so if you want to follow along, you can. But I'm going to have my wife read um, passage of scripture out of Luke, Luke chapter 7. And then we're going to talk about this thing called faith. Okay. And what is faith? What isn't it? And what we can do with that. So um, Stacey, would you go ahead and read? When he had concluded saying all this to the people who were listening, he entered Capernaum. A centurion servant, who was highly valued by him, was sick and about to die. When the centurion heard about Jesus, he sent some Jewish leaders to him, requesting him to come and save the life of his servant. When they reached Jesus, they pleaded with him earnestly, saying, He is worthy for you to grant this, because he loves our nation and has built us a synagogue. Jesus went with them, and when he was not far from the house, the centurion sent friends to tell him, Lord, don't trouble yourself, since I am not worthy to have you come under my roof. That is why I didn't even consider myself worthy to come to you, but say the word, and my servant will be healed. For I, too, am a man placed under authority, having soldiers under my command. I say to this one, go, and he goes, and to another, come, and he comes, and to my servant, do this, and he does it. Jesus heard this and was amazed at him, and turning to the crowd following him, he said, I tell you, I have not found so great a faith, even in Israel. When those who had been sent returned to the house, they found the servant in good health. Afterward, he was on his way to a town called Nain. His disciples and a large crowd were traveling with him. Just as he neared the gate of the town, a dead man was being carried out. He was his mother's only son, and she was a widow. A large crowd from the city was also with her. When the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her and said, Don't weep. Then he came up and touched the open coffin, and the pallbearer stopped, and he said, Young man, I tell you, get up. The dead man sat up and began to speak, and Jesus gave him to his mother. Then fear came over everyone, and they glorified God, saying, A great prophet has risen among us, and God has visited his people. This report about him went throughout Judea and all the vicinity. That's Luke chapter 7, verses 1 through 17, and, and encourage you to go ahead and read that for yourself in your own uh, in your own copy of the Bible. Um, but faith, this idea of faith, is takes on kind of a new meaning right now, right? With We're in this, this uh, quarantine era, and we know that that's been extended for a few weeks. We know you're out of school. You're not going to go back to school, and um, so all those kind of things. So faith means that you take God at his word. You never let yourself think that you're smarter than him, and you live inside his boundaries, okay? Um, it's, it's a response of your heart to God um, that really completely alters the way that you live. You can't have faith and not change the way that you live. And so being able to um, have faith in Jesus um, doesn't mandate a change in the way that you live. It's just going to lead to a change in the way that you live because faith isn't something that we can muster up because um, there's a couple of implications of what a real living faith looks like. Um, the first thing is faith is never natural for us. Okay, We can say we have faith, but we can't just have willpower to have faith. That's, that's not the kind of faith that the Bible is talking about when it comes to saving faith. Real faith is initiated by God and is actually... Um, God holding on to us and us being able to have faith is a byproduct of the work of the Spirit that's, that's in us. And so faith isn't natural, okay? It's natural to do a lot of other things. It's natural to imagine what quarantine's going to, when it's going to end and where you're going to go eat and what you're going to go do the first time that you're able to go and do those kind of things. Um, it's natural to kind of panic and have anxiety a little bit right now with what's going on. Um, wondering if God, what God is up to, and wondering if He really does exist, or, or He's is He just leaving us to get out of this whole quarantine and COVID nineteen thing on our own? Um, but, but putting your 
entire destiny in the hands of a creator that you can't even see, um, you can't touch, and is, doesn't have a loud, audible voice from heaven, that's not natural. That's God does that, and He brings that um, to to uh, brings that to pass. So, um, if you're living by faith, that's not something to be proud of. That's something to recognize and say, God, thank you for giving me the faith to live. Thank you for giving me faith that leads to a deeper relationship with you. And the incredible thing about that is, He will give you faith when you ask for it. I mean, I, I can think about things in our journey where we've had to ask for faith. Um, things when we were going through the adoption with Emma and we didn't know if this ever was going to happen and yet God was able to increase our faith. And um, we see that in scripture as well. Um, <clears throat> the second thing, uh, participating in a formal faith like Christianity is a part of a life of faith, but it's not the totality of it. Okay, that's part of your faith journey, but that's not the only thing that marks it. Because see, faith is not segmented out in different parts of your journey. It's really your entire life. Is your entire life marked by faith? Because you can uh, you can be great at participating now in an online service on a Wednesday night, or watching this Devo or whatever it is, but then on Tuesday night, you know, you're out doing something that you know you shouldn't be doing. Um, and bad-mouthing your parents and dishonoring them and getting into fights with your siblings and all those kind of things because you think that really um, that's okay. And by saying that's okay, what you're really saying is that you think that you're smarter than God. And He does give us boundaries, and He does do those kind of things. So um, I just want to encourage you, when it comes to faith, ask God to increase your faith, to give you faith, and to... Uh, um, to help you to understand and continue to run to him. And maybe use this weekend, say, God, would you just help me to identify where my faith is and how I can increase it as we go forward. So would you pray for us? Sure. <laughs> I took her by surprise. I think she was expecting me to wrap up, but Stacy's <laughs> going to pray for us. And then you guys can have a great weekend. God, I just want to thank you for your faithfulness. Um, and that you promised you give us what we need at the right time we need it. Lord, even faith, it comes from you. Um, even the faith that we have in you comes from you. And I just thank you for that. Just thank you that you think so highly of us. You love us so much that you willingly give us what we need in the moments we need it, Lord. And I just pray that you would um, continue to give us faith in these times and um, guidance in these times and just continue to just remind us of your goodness, your love, your mercy, and your sacrifice. And we just thank you, God, for who you are and that you love us and created us to be in relationship with you. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. All right, guys, we'll see you next week. Hope you have a great weekend, if it even feels like a weekend. But it's supposed to be nicer weather, Same. so get out, enjoy it, and uh, we'll see you around the corner. Bye.